I hope you're doing well. This is going to be your message. You need to know what's coming in. We'll see. Pisces. And we're starting with that beautiful blue energy, which is beautiful. And then we have this bright tangerine energy that is energetic, man. Okay. <laughs> like I'm, all, I'm all into these energies. You're giving me this vibe of honestly just sticking out and feeling very confident here already. Okay, Pisces. Oh, and this is, this says build your confidence. This is a new deck from um, one of the viewers. Thank you so much. I'm not naming names right now. Um, so build your confidence. I'm getting this vibe right off the beginning, the start of this reading. Okay. The tangerine is about being spontaneous and having fun. That is beautiful. And the pink is about letting love in. Pisceans, I don't know what to say, except you might be having someone new come into your life, okay? Um, if that's what you're looking for. If not, obviously, there could be change to a situation because you're approaching it differently because you're built your confidence, right? This is beautiful. Um, oh, wow. But I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So I do feel that whoever is coming in and it really could be brand new or not it's going to be someone who's totally reflecting your self-confidence and when your confidence is high you're going to attract people with high confidence therefore um well it doesn't mean high integrity but i do feel that this person is confident because they're a good person and they have their um three pillars intact is what I'm getting. So it's like body, mind, and soul. So like they do what they say, they say what they do, they mean what they say. Um, it's all in alignment. That's what I'm feeling here. Wow. Okay. So anything else yet? <laughs> what else are we talking about? The Knight of Pentacles really, really wants to come in. So this may be someone that you do know. It may be, um, and I'm only saying that because I see the four of pentacles. And if this is not someone that you do know, this could be someone that in the past was holding back, maybe had a bad vision when it came to love, or maybe they were hurt. So they weren't um, very giving of their energy. Maybe they didn't have the confidence to give of their energy um, because of something that happened in the past. But you do have this stable energy coming towards you, this Knight of Pentacles energy. Um, and this, I feel this person could have tattoos. They don't have to. They could have like really high, well, they just have this taste, this style to them is what I get. Um, this could be someone coming towards you now because you have this new confidence and this new confident attitude and this new secure energy to you. Interesting. Let's see what else we're getting here for the Tangerine Ace of Cups. I mean, I think this is someone new, Pisces. I think someone's going to come in here with a real um, positive, stable, integral attitude. And they know what they want. And I feel like your um, message here for you is you're attracting this person that's at this new level that you're at. This is a gift. And I'm getting guided to tell you, and like my cards just opened at the star with the wheel of fortune here. It's like, take a chance and try something. Be spontaneous. Um, take this person up on their offer is what I'm getting as well. So, and we have let love in. Hmm. Maybe you were the one that was closed off, you know? It's time to let love in, Pisces. It's time to let love in. Wow, we have the higher fint. Now, we have the higher fint in the reverse. I'm just noticing that. This, but you know what I'm getting is that this is not going to be your typical. This is very unorthodox, I'm hearing. Um, even with the Wheel of Fortune, this is a spontaneous energy. This is something that will not be your typical commitment. Okay, let love in. Don't have expectations is what I'm getting here with that. Um, let go of the past. Don't hang on to that or what you've gone through. That's interesting. So let's see what else comes up. 
This Seven of Swords energy comes up here, and I do feel that you were probably hurt in the past by someone, and you may have had your guard up. This is not your typical Seven of Swords. This woman is protecting herself, you know, literally. You may really have been hurt. You really, you have let some of it go because um, I see two swords in the background. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, <laughs> just checking. Um, I see two swords in the background. You are really, someone here really had had to build their confidence. I think someone was really brought down. Someone was hurt. Um, it could have been an emperor type energy here. Maybe someone, I'm getting like used you or you felt used. So this may be part of the reason why you had to take the time and rebuild yourself. And now because of that, you are actually attracting a really amazing person in. Let's take the top card here. We have judgment here. Let's clarify that a little more. The six of cups. So it may look scary. It may look scary. This judgment card looks a little scary. Okay. Um, but this is someone coming to you. This is a connection I'm getting that's coming to you. Remember, I said that this person has like all three pillars in order, right? I believe I said that because I'm getting that vibe again. Um, this person that's coming in, or if it's you, like someone has taken time to seriously heal themselves, body, mind, and soul. Um, whatever this connection is, it's going to be very special. And I do feel that it's it's karmically destined. Uh, if you were with this person before, it's interesting because I'm getting that message. If you were with this person before, there was healing that had to happen here. But I feel that um, in the past, you know, someone had a really crappy situation going on that they had to be healed from the world. So now we have this energy of letting go of that past dramatic, that dramatic past and moving forward into this new energy of love here, 10 of cups. Hmm. This is very interesting, Pisces. So what else can Pisces expect with this? Who's this person? Let's get a who. We got a who. What's this coming out here? The two of wands is coming. Um, it came in reverse because this is someone who is very worldly. This is someone who um, has gone through a lot is what I'm getting, including some sort of a uh, permanent ending they've gone through as of recently. Um, but this is someone who now knows where they want to be. Okay. So if this is someone from your past, look at, we have the full card coming up. They are now coming back and being like, I want to stay here. Um, you know, I want to look at, and it's like this person is offering that wand. They're offering that new beginning. And we have the um, ace of wands here or the queen of wands here. Sorry. But it's interesting because it's almost like you can be dealing with the fire sign Pisces or someone who is like really active. Um, and this person is coming here, coming forward. I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles to make a stable offer to you or to make a offer of commitment to you. Maybe to make you their queen. This person, wow, this is beautiful actually. So tell us more about the Fool card is what I'm looking at. And we have the Devil. So this may be actually someone you know. It may be someone that you have um, a very strong connection to as well. And this may also be someone who was in some sort of a toxic relationship that they were stuck in. Um, and now they're coming forward for a new beginning or to have a fresh start at life, you know, um, to see the good as well as what I'm getting. Maybe this person at some point or you were having trouble seeing the good and now you're going to be able to see that in relationships. And then we have the justice card coming out. So someone did probably, and I'm guessing it may be you. Because you had to build your confidence. I feel like you went through a heartbreaking situation. Um, 
And if this is someone coming back, now they want to stay with you. If this is just saying that this person knows what they want, this person knows that they want to be with you. We have the chariot. So you could be dealing with a fellow water sign or this is just someone saying, I'm coming in. I want to stay with you. Okay. So Pisces, let's get one more card and see. <laughs> I'm just noticing at the bottom of the deck, it says attract success. That's really interesting. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. We have the lovers here. We have the two, three of cups. We have the eight of pentacles. You've done some work on yourself. Someone here has really, if this is a separation that happens, someone has done work on themselves in order to have a reunion with you. Otherwise, you've done work on yourself and now you are attracting um, this reunion or this perfect match because you have healed your body, mind, soul. They've healed their body, mind, soul. So therefore now you guys can come together. Type of an energy. Okay, Pisces. Thank you so much. Let me know where you're from. If you want to book a private reading, all my info is below. Otherwise have yourself a really, really great week and that's it. Bye for now.